First date. Let me take you through just a crazy wild scenario. You meet a human being either in the real world or on a dating app or they hit you with their car and you go, I would like to go on a date with this person. It's a crazy scenario, I know. But maybe you like the way they smile. Maybe you like the kind of car they drove. Listen, you haven't lived until you got hit by one of those Jeep Gladiators. I feel like if you got hit by a Jeep Gladiator and your body didn't explode on impact, they should be able to return that car. But the question remains, what do you do? Where do you go? And the answer is, I have no idea. But when I don't know something, I'm going to do what I always do and give my opinion on it. Now here's a really important thing to cover location. Where do you go on a first date? The possibilities are endless and usually all pretty bad. So let's go through the bad options. Bad option number one, a loud bar. One of the prerequisites for going on a date with someone is uh, being able to hear them. I really don't know why you would want to go to a loud place on a first date. Unless you really love the idea of saying something five times, having the person say, what? Five times, and then going, Never mind. If you're into that, loud bar. Or better yet, go to a club. Oh, a first date at a club. Could you imagine anything more deranged? Yeah, and you know I've done that before, too. I once went on a first date to a club, not my suggestion, by the way, and I went to go to the bathroom, and when I came back, there was another guy there hitting on the woman I was on a date with. And that left me in, like, a really weird position, actually. Like, I can't be too confrontational in that situation because I had just met this person. Hey buddy, you better back off. That's a woman I met 15 minutes ago you're talking to there. So I did what any incredibly brave person would do in that situation. I uh, stood there and waited to see what would happen. He ended up giving up and walking away, but part of me was always like, I hope I didn't get in the way of a budding new romance. So anyway, clubs, loud bars, not first date, not even things to go on to second date. Just never go to those places. Why are you going to those places? This is, this is just my uh, personal hangups coming out in the video. Another potential mistake, this isn't necessarily bad, but I think a lot of people will make the mistake of doing this, is restaurant on first date. We're talking dinner, we're talking even lunch. Now, this might seem like a good idea at first. It's like, oh, I'll share a meal with this person, really get to know them. It can be a little bit treacherous. Going to dinner with someone means usually sitting across from them and watching them eat. Are you, are you that confident they're not gonna chew weird? Are you that confident that you're not gonna spit food on them? A thing that I do so regularly, I have considered just kind of putting like a windscreen over my mouth. Also, if things don't go well on that first date, as they often uh, don't, then you're sitting there across from that person going through every stage of dinner. We're talking ordering drinks, we're talking ordering food, we're talking the server taking too long to come back to the table, so you're stuck there listening to this person's story that they used to uh, abduct and sell guinea pigs on the black market. As a matter of fact, that would kind of be a best case scenario for a bad date, considering at least it's interesting. So restaurant, first date, a little bit high pressure. Now how about a good old fashioned standard walk in the park? So going for a stroll, maybe in a park, maybe in a nice part of the city or town you live in. Now, I, I love this idea. The only issue with it is if you suggest it, the person you are going on a date with will assume you don't have a lot of money. Which, by the way, I don't, but I like to wait until the third date for them to realize that. But there's no shame in that. And uh, honestly, suggesting going on like a little walk or something, great date idea. Nothing, nothing bad. When I was living on my friend's couch in Boston, I would go on so many walking dates, my legs genuinely were sore most of the time. Now, this is a rare one I'm about to go over, so uh, this doesn't apply to many people, but I think it is important to bring up because it is something you really want to avoid. The over-the-top prince or princess charming date. I'm talking hot air balloon ride, okay? I understand the impulse. All right, you want to impress this person. Maybe you're really interested in this person, but let's pump the brakes. You're not winning any brownie points for going over the top. You're probably just scaring someone. Secluded candlelight dinners are great, 
but maybe we wait until we actually know this person before we suggest that. It's weird, I organized this giant fireworks display for our first date and then they never called me back. Oh really? Maybe that's because they thought you want to wear their skin. So let's recap, first dates. You want to go somewhere where you can have a conversation with the person. That's just number one. No movies, okay? You could be sitting there watching Enter the Spider-Verse with a sociopath and you don't even know it because you didn't have a conversation with this person first. Sorry, looks like you just shared popcorn with someone who's featured in an Amber Alert. Don't do something that's too involved or too financially ambitious. You don't want to be sitting there going, oh, I spent so much money and they were boring. It's like, yeah. You that's your fault. Most people are boring. Do something lower stakes and it won't be like you're losing a lottery ticket. I'm also sorry sometimes you lose the lottery when you play it, but these are the kinds of odds we're dealing with. Go with something low stakes, low impact. I'm talking a uh, drink. I'm talking ice cream. I'm talking a walk. That's how you do it. Or if you're rich, I guess none of these rules really apply. Go charter a helicopter, Skippy. That's what your dad's money is there for. But I hope this helps, and I hope you can use it someday, because meeting people is really tough. And if you did, that's great. Isn't that a cute way to tie this whole video together? Aren't I, aren't I just the most genuine person on this horrible, horrible platform?